podcast is intended for mature audiences. The views and opinions expressed are those of the panelists and do not reflect in any way those of the podcast partners, sponsors, or affiliates. Enjoy. Hi, this is Michael Buffer, and you're listening to the voice of the people. Let's get ready for Boxing Voice. Every day I'm hustling, 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 hustling. Every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling. Get in the right swing. Get in the right Get in the right swing. Get in the right swing. Get in the right swing. Get in the right Lose when we start up. Who is you to argue with news that I brought us? Champ is here. Yeah, but you can call me king. Catch me at the border. War I bring. I'm a general, and I just stepped in the ring. I unleash hell on earth when the bell goes. The champ is here. Yeah, but you can call me king. Catch me at the border. War I bring. I'm a general, and I just stepped in the ring. I unleash hell on earth when the bell goes. Champ is here, yeah, but you can call me king. Catch me at the board, war I bring. I'm a general, and I just stepped in the ring. I unleash hell on earth when the bell goes. The champ is here, yeah, but you can call me king. Catch me at the board, war I bring. I'm a general, and I just stepped in the ring. I unleash hell on earth when the bell goes. Ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of the Boxing Voice Radio, we are bringing you our unguarded series, and we have the superstar in the flesh, self-proclaimed big fish of Border Wars. We're talking none other than Super Max, never to be confused with Super Mario. Max, what's going on, champ? What it do, what it do, Ness? How you doing? How am I coming through, champ? Sound good. Are you driving? Yeah, I'm hitting. Uh, yeah, I'm in the pickup though. I'm in my personal vehicle, but okay. yeah. So, Yo, man. real quick, let me give a shout out to Stainless Man. Yo, that that jam right there, man. It ain't nothing like it, man. It is, you know. Shout out to the Four Horsemen. I'm glad he included them in that. And I just came to bring a little message. I, I was hoping Francis would be here, but Stainless wanted me to let you guys know that when he's talking about bringing the pain and bringing the war, he wrote those bars. With Francis in mind mm. for Border Wars 10, man. So it's got to make sure Francis knows that. But uh, what's up, champ? It's getting crazy, huh? We're getting close to the wire, man. You about a week away from the big fight, man. You tell me what's up, man. Uh, well, it's, it's fight week, man. You know, you kind of wake up. You know, you've been thinking about the same guy for six weeks now. Uh, you know, you, you, you're training. You're working hard. You're pushing yourself. You, you know, you're getting tired. You're kind of wondering, damn, do I still want to do this? Do I not? Then you got those days where you're feeling great and you want to go through the wall. Um, but that's just what it is, man. Um, I'm, fi- 
I feel physically much better than I did going into Border Wars uh, in New Jersey, man. I'll, I'll tell you that much. Uh, my mind is clear. I kind of know what to expect. Obviously, the nerves are there, man. But I, I feel good, man. I'm ready. I'm ready for Saturday. I mean, how do you feel different exactly? What's different? What do you think is different? I, I tell you one thing right now: the training is different, bro. Uh, look, man. You know, I talked a lot about getting robbed in my last fight, which I still feel that way. But the biggest person who robbed me was myself, Ness. Uh, when I, I look back, man, I kind of half-assed that. I, uh, you know, no disrespect to Santiago, man, but you know, I, I kind of felt like I was above him coming into the thing. I didn't really train as hard. And I think it showed, man, a lot of that fight, I feel like there was a lot of moments where I could have closed the show or made it an emphatic statement enough to clearly get the victory that I left out there hanging. And, uh, you know, that's just, that was lack of discipline, lack of dieting, kind of bullshit in my training. Now that I got a coach, uh, J-Mac's a no-nonsense guy, man. J-Mac, uh, he, he talks about holding people accountable a lot on the show, and he means every word of that, you know. He, and he's not someone you can bullshit because he's going to judge you based off your work and not what you're telling them. And I think that's been the biggest thing is just someone to hold my feet to the fire, much like, I mean, all you guys have. You know, everybody in the Border Wars community has, but having a coach that's checking in daily, checking to see, he, he's going to see if there's improvements if I've been doing the things he's supposed, I'm supposed to be doing. Nah, I hear you, man. So so you said the training is different. What What is he having you do or what are you doing different compared to last time specifically really because you know look man your opponent is 344 so you know you mm -hmm. thought you was in an island all by yourself and there's other people out there that you can you, and yourself inspire to lose weight yeah no, i mean just just like i said different just fundamentals learning how to better my balance uh better footwork uh better balance when i throw my shots not just going in there, man. And I know everybody loves a good Mexican-style fight. And I know everybody was entertained with that last one, man. But that shit was wild, man. That shit's only going to work one time. And that was the only time I think that'll ever work. I think even in a rematch with Santiago, he would he would look to cap capitalize on that. So uh, picking shots, shot placement, balance, uh, you know, I, cardio we can always improve on. Uh, though I felt like that was, that was kind of all I did in my last camp, man, was just kind of Make sure I didn't run out of breath for the for the six for the six minutes. So your opponent, smoke him out, Jay from Las Vegas, first time Border Wars participant. He commented, he's live watching this interview. And he said that he feels you did get robbed. Does that make you feel any better, or you think he's sleepwalking you, man? Uh, man, honestly, I've had to really. I had to accept that I robbed myself. Like I said, man, I could, I sat there, spent a lot of time blaming everybody else, do me, not give me my knockdowns. I thought the judging was unfair. You know, initially I kind of felt like I had fucked up some plans for the for the community. Look, Santiago's a guy that you, it's, it's, there's no one I know that could say a bad thing about the guy and not like him. Um, and I felt like you guys might have thought, okay, we let's get him a dub. And I feel like I followed that plan. You know, it's just all these things you go through, man. You know, in your mind, you think, you know, a lot of people like to give other fighters crap. But sometimes you do feel like, man, that I, you know, everybody was against me. But, hey, look, uh, what's done is done. Obviously, I'd like to I'd like to maybe revisit that one day. Who knows? Um, but now, man, I'm, I'm focused on, on Saturday, man. I, like I said, that one was more me robbing myself, you know, and, I, and I'm the only one to blame for that. Now, I, I want to believe that there's a huge difference between Supermax and uh, Smoke Em Out J, but we've never seen Smoke Em Out J, but just in terms of statistics, I mean, Santiago is like 5'8 to 10, Smoke Em Out J is like 6'4". So talk about the height difference, man. This is your first big fight. Are you getting tall sparring? How are you preparing? Because you see Dr. Mofongo had all types of problems with the taller pound for pound yeah. number five now, Sir Bishop from California. Yeah, so I, I got in there and, uh, I, I, you know, last camp was a little easier. South Diego was more my height so I could have mixed up sparring, you know, with Marvin, Matt, other guys to kind of mix and match. 
So to match this one, I, I, uh, I, you know, I started asking some questions, and I came across an old football teammate from back in the day who's actually had pro MMA and boxing fights to work with me, and uh, he's about 6'4", 270. He's, uh, you know, and he, he's been helping me uh, when he can. Uh, we've had a couple. We're actually going to meet up today, too. You know, trying to trying to finish off the week strong, finish who, off who? camp strong. You and who? Uh, his name is Eric Lunsford. I think I sent you the the box wreck on him a while back, man. Uh, he's only had a couple of pro boxing fights, but he's had them. He had some amateur boxing fights, and he currently does pro MMA. Okay. So a uh, big shout out to him, man. Uh, Bulldog, old Bulldogs sticking together. You know, playing new Bulldogs. Once a bulldog, always a bulldog. So I called out to an old teammate, and he he answered the call, which is definitely what I need because it gives me someone to work with in person on the days that uh, I'm not right in front of J Mac. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, what are you doing with J? Like uh, he gives you a certain amount of exercise he wants you to do on a daily level, uh, or do you call him daily? What what is it looking like? Because you're doing a virtual training. And you're getting hands-on physical training. Mm -hmm. But I I just want to kind of put that story out there for anybody maybe considering uh, doing some virtual training with Coach Mitty, either Doomy or even J-Mac. Yeah, let me tell you something, man. Uh, First of all, for J-Mac to meet up with us when he does after being a route driver, you know, uh, Ness, you're a former driver, as you know. That's valuable time, man. That's sleep time. That's eat time. That's, That's time off the road where you can rest, kick your feet up. So much love and appreciation to him for not only doing that in person, but yeah, we meet uh, about every other day. We Skype call, I put my laptop in my garage. He watches me do the drills, gives me what he wants to do, watches what I'm doing, checks for the progress, and then leaves me with uh, the last, you know, leaves me with another 30 more minutes of things that I have to do uh, to get done. Um, you know, we, uh, we, I personally, I knew not to go over the top. The one thing I learned from my first camp was, if you try to do more than your body is really ready for, you're going to burn yourself out. And I think that's a big part of what happened to me the first time is I went balls to the wall, uh, you know, hit that hit that weight loss wall where it kind of felt like nothing was moving and then got to sparring and, and uh, you know, sparred with Marvin. Uh, let me tell you, that sparring with Marvin, man, was a <laughs> was an awakening, man. That dude, that dude is, uh, he, man, I can't imagine how he's done now since then. But, uh, you know, just, yeah, like I said, every day checking in, eating right, uh, you know, 10 bottles of water a day, cutting out the sodas. I haven't drank any alcohol uh, since we signed this fight. Hell, I mean, I went into straight cat mode. I mean, I've been going into work, man. I don't know if you can see. I don't grow much of a beard, but all this scrag is here. My hair looking crazy. You know, we've just been in, uh, you know, in warrior mode, man. Yeah, man, warrior mode sounds about right now. I think it was a bad decision picking the 6'4", 344-pound Las Vegas smoke em out J. I think better the devil you know than the devil you don't know. So you got to see Sir Bishop. You've seen his speed. You know his power. At least you know what to expect. I feel like with, with smoke em out J, there's so much left to the unknown man how how are you dealing with that mentally um it's just my turn man look Santiago never saw me fight before he never knew much about me I didn't get to get much sparring so I didn't get there was a much I could have sent him so it's kind of just it turned about his fair play man it just this is my turn to the bat uh at the end of the day man it was like this you're damned if you do you're damned if you don't if I'd have picked you know I picked Smoke my Jay you kind of don't think that's a great idea if I'd have picked Bishop other guys didn't think that was a great idea. Had I not fought, I think everybody thought that was going to be a horrible idea. So it is what it is, man. I, I, you know, one thing I learned quickly is it's 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 funny. We laugh about these fighters, Ness, that that in, that pro fighters that want to protect their record and protect that undefeated streak. And it's crazy how fast that'll come to your mind in border wars. You know, I I had a draw. I, you know, when we first started this, I said I had a four fight plan to get to the champ uh i got a draw and it, and it felt like everything came crashing down so once i got past looking that and, and getting back to what the essence of this is for me which is to lose weight to be in better shape uh to just overall be healthier 
um, that anxiety kind of goes away, man. I'm working my hardest. I'm obviously not coming here to lose, but I'm not going to be afraid of what's across the ring either, man. What It is what it is. At the end of the day, anybody 250 plus pounds probably hits harder than some of a bitch. You know, I, I don't care what anybody tells you. The, the, you know, it's just science, man. Someone that big at throwing that mass at you, especially early on fast, it's not going to feel good. So, you know, it's just my turn at it. Like I said, some guys get the footage, some don't. It is what it is. I, I, I was one of the guys that came in that no one knew last season, didn't have a whole ton of footage. It is what it is. So, do you perceive smoke him out jay to be tougher than bishop based on weight where bishop is just taller uh you know that's hard for me to gauge man i've never actually shared the ring with either it, it could you know it, i mean who knows that bishop's in great shape you know it's one thing to be a bigger guy and a thudding guy you know but it, if you don't got the cardio to the back what does that matter? You know, what does that matter? Now you could be a smaller guy. And I could push your, I push my weight on you. But if you got stamina to go eight, ten rounds, which I think Bishop does, that plays to his advantage because those were fast. It's just all about, it's just all about what happens there in the fight, man. So I couldn't really gauge that. I think they're both a big threat. You know, you know smoking my days. Uh, from what I understand, you know, I know he's a former athlete, a former basketball player. So that tells me he's got a competitive nature. That tells me he's not coming to Texas to, you know, to make me shine. You know what I'm saying? He's trying to shine on his own. So it's up to me to make sure that I, I do my part. Mm-hmm. So talk to me, man. What, what what did you see in the sparring that, I guess, gave you the nod? Like, all right, let's go with this guy over, uh, you know, Bishop. Well, uh, that was uh, you know like initially I think the story is already known. Uh, we were gonna go with Bishop, man, and then uh, you know as a fighter slash promoter, sometimes you got to take that promoter hat off and let the advisors do their thing. I immediately was kind of given a lot of pushback, you know, just based off skill. Because Bishop, man, give the man his due. He looks very skilled, and I want to make this clear real quick. For this particular border wars, Bishop wasn't the one seeking the eye reached out to Bishop weeks before uh, because Ness is, you know, we just had so much trouble finding an opponent. You know, uh, some guys couldn't make it. Some guys felt like there wasn't enough time. So we were kind of coming down to the wire. And uh, this, ho- this whole Board of Wars in particular sprouted because I was like, yo, Ness, we're going to be in Dallas for Earl anyways. Why not get one off? You know what I mean? And then it kind of steamrolled from there and it turned into this. I never imagined it would get this big. Um, but back to that so skill wise it just looked like Bishop's a little bit better on skill nothing against smoking my J but he's on the same level as me and I look if I go in there and, and, and with someone that I feel like we started off at the same level uh, you know I think that is a better idea you know it, we've seen what can happen if you go in there with someone who's got too much more experience than you you know yeah I got the one Border Wars fight in man but that's I mean Dude, I ballooned right back up right after that. I didn't really pay too much attention to it. We had this lockdown shit happen, and, and it kind of it stumbled from there. So I just felt like I felt like I was at least at a better better skill level, more even playing field for the time being with uh, Smoke and Jay. And how do you think it'll be different this time from the last time? Why won't you balloon back, win or lose? Why won't you gain the weight in depression if you lose or in celebration if you win? Uh, it's simple, man. Uh, as most of you know by now, if you listen to TBV, I got a newborn daughter. Uh, she's She turns five months old tomorrow or two Wednesday. And look, man, I, like I've expressed to you, Ness, on a, on a back end, man, like I'm, I'm fucking scared to die of a heart attack at like 30-something years old, man. You're, about, you're not supposed to be 350 pounds, especially at no five foot ten, five foot eleven. That's just, <laughs> you know what I mean. Uh, I'm a truck driver, so it, it's not always easy. But you know, I'm just compacting on to. Uh, I want to live a longer life, man. I got three beautiful children that that love me to death. I love them to death. I want to be around for as long as I can. I don't want to leave this world early, 
and it be because I didn't take care of myself. You know, we never know when that number's called. And, and and also too, let me just tell you a side story. What really, really kicked off that day for me to text you, Ness, was uh, I, as you know, also I coach youth sports with my son. You know, he's just starting to learn sports, baseball, football, and he's getting ready to do his first year of uh, you know, pretty much legit baseball. Uh, anybody who knows me knows, uh, and I love to tell you, man, I was I was a bad dude behind the plate, man. I was a pretty good baseball player, man. Uh, you know, back in my day, and uh, pretty well known for that. And so when I tell my son, hey, man, I can teach you how to uh, play ball for real, he gave me this look, Ness, like, you know, like, hey, fat man, how, you, how, you, <laughs> how are you going to teach me how to play anything? And it kind of dawned on me, man. This my son is six years old, and all he's ever seen is me be this fat guy that just works and comes home. He's never seen that guy that used to be that used to play football, that was knocking heads, you know, that was that was throwing people out from his knees. You know, that he's never seen that. So all he sees is just this fat dude that's like, yeah, let me teach you how to play. And he kind of that laugh you just gave, he gave me the same one, man. So that you know, I don't want my kids not to know what I was capable of. No. I definitely understand, man. Um, you know, I'm a fan. I'm rooting for the both of you guys. Throw Eddie in there, man. I need you guys to uh, drop the weight. I know that it's possible. You know, uh, obviously, I didn't come from where you're at, but I, I came from significantly high and, 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 and just kept plugging away until yeah. uh, it, I got rid of it, man. But Hell, yeah. And for anybody who's, like, kind of iffy, let me tell you, uh, man, don't be, don't, don't be iffy, man. Look, nobody wants to get their ass whooped. Nobody wants to lose a fight, but that's the worst that's going to happen. There's 10 times, it takes 10 times more hard to go in there and lose than it does to not try. Mm-hmm. Uh, dude, I, I don't think me and Eddie are probably a couple of the biggest guys smoking my day too, but he's got a taller frame and we, we sucked it up and have gotten in there and got in camp. You can do it too, man. That's what it's about. And you're going to find that you got a band of brothers ahead. You know, I know people see some of the shows and might think Ness is kind of an a-hole. But let me tell you something. Ness, I consider Ness a friend and a mentor. And when he gives you shit, it's because he wants you to, to – he wants to see us do better. You know, I, I treat, I've i spoke to Ness several times. You know, it, it's, it's just one of those things. you got to know him a little bit to understand. And the support you get from the community is great. You know, me and Mr. CYP – Go back and forth on boxing topics. He did the 20 push-ups, you know, shouting me out. He's about getting healthy. The community that we have here, if you're thinking about trying to do this and losing weight, stop thinking and just do it, man. Let me tell you, because without that fear of getting your ass whooped, you're not as motivated to work out. Damn. Tell you right now. Yo, Eric Cruz still in your thunder coming through with the big announcement on the horseman tip he said yo i got a fight locked in news coming soon yo that's the og of the four horsemen man i ain't never mad at it yo who 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 who, who, who give me the give me the give me the scoop man you wanted a horseman you gotta know what's going on yo i'm on the phone with you man that had to have just both wow that's crazy now, I know he's been in contact with Antonio Garcia. I wonder if they just looked at each other and said, fuck it, I'll fight you since I was supposed to fight Karma, and I went to the buffet, and now I'm like 180-190. I wonder, yeah. I wonder if they putting that together on the low. Hey, i I just glad to see it, man. You know, it's been since Border Wars 4 that the original Four Horsemen have been trying to get on the same card, and God willing, we finally get that off, man. For real. So, let's get out to your questions here. Let's see what we got from the people. It's the people. Did I even uh, share this on the live? All right, we got a bunch. Uh Uh-oh. First one, three days ago. Your own opponent, Smoke Em Out J, Las Vegas. He says... He says... See that... You fought in Border Wars before. Do you think this is going to be an easy win? If so, why or why not? Oh, hell no. It ain't going to be no easy. Let me tell you something. I I mean, no disrespect to Santiago, man, because that guy, when you have a war with somebody, man, you 
you, you develop a little bit of a bond. And that shit was a war. But, uh, yo, that shit is not going to work, man. 6'4". Look, I, I, another big reason I told them is because, look, man, if I, if I didn't feel worried about getting the shit knocked out of me in front of my people and for all my family to see, fuck no, I wouldn't take that fight, man. This is a, this is a challenge. This is like, you know, I got my mom. My mom calling me and telling me, hey, look, if you're going to do this, you better be fucking ready because I'm not going to have people watching you get your, get knocked the fuck out because you didn't try. You know, my mom's a huge boxing head. She's the reason we into boxing. So that that's motivation, man. He's, he's bro, I, I can sense a competitive spirit when there's one around, and he's one of them. And, uh, yeah, easy fight, no way. So, I mean... How has the sparring been any different from the last time? Um, because it's uh, it's someone that knows how to work with me, but that also understands what border wars turns into. You know what I'm saying? You so can't get that? all the sparring. So you you're want, saying but some- that's J Mac that's helping you with that? J Mac's helping me with that. You know, he's helping me get used to what's going to be, what things turn into, and also. Uh, Lunsford, uh, we call him Big E because these guys know at the end of the day, a lot of times in Border Wars, man, uh, you revert back to your natural instincts. A lot of guys do that. So you got to be prepared for someone who's going to come in, stick it to the game plan, and you got to be prepared for someone who just lets that anxiety get to them and just says, fuck it, I'm going balls to the wall. Because either one can happen, you know, and uh, you got to be ready for both. A lot of guys come in with the perfect game plan and just kind of let that let them instincts take over and that's not always a good deal so I mean if you watch smoke em out Jay's footage man he seems to be more of a mover than yourself like mm-hmm. you know I was talking to somebody his name will remain nameless they said they was watching your tape and it just felt like your feet didn't move like you and Santiago just met each other in the center and let hands go but smoke em out Jay goes in and out I mean, mm-hmm. I thought he did well with 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 Eddie. Like you obviously could see Eddie's skill because he cut he caught him with a lot of hooks and and they didn't have full power on him. So you know, um, but but I think that he moves well. You do or do not? What do you think? Uh, and, I, yeah. and, 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 and do you uh, perceive that being a problem? Uh, he's a hooper, so I'm, I'm guarantee he's got good feet. Uh, I could tell you that just by knowing that he's a hooper. Um, but yeah, man. I mean, that that was something we were working on myself. You know, like like, like I told you before, and that's it's cool to win fight of the night, and I love that and the accolades and shit. But, but man, I'm not trying to be on two or in here and just you know, I'm not trying to be Brandon Rios. I'm not trying to be. I already kind of got the moniker of the Chris Ariola of the division as it is. I want to get away from that. I want to work on this. I'm not, you know, I want to. So we've been working on the footwork, working on uh, balance. Like I said, that's kind of what we've been looking at. Is how to how to move them feet, how to not stay still, how to move off that center line. Cause you know, that just it's just basic things. Basic fundamentals, man. Nothing you know, you're not gonna learn you're not gonna put on super skill in one camp, you know what I mean? But uh, uh, pretty good fundamentals, working on getting the footwork better. All right, all right. Let me get to Adrian Rowan in Wisconsin says, How do you feel coming into this fight? What do you feel you improved this time around in camp? Also, keep on training and putting in work. Yeah, shout out to you for that question. Uh, man, I feel good coming into this fight. Like I said, I'm just happy to be doing it. Um, you know, I feel like there's a, a new fire lit into me. You know, you get to that point, I kind of hit that same wall. But instead of, uh, you know, with some other personal things going on, but instead of saying, nah, let me just quit push it off to another time something else inside of me was like no fuck no we worked this hard why quit now why get this much progress done to just stop again and so i feel much better i feel i feel enlightened uh reinvigorated and i think the like i like i keep saying man just having someone to to work with me and not you know self-training man when you train yourself you're not gonna put in the same effort it's just not gonna happen um be, like a you know being a being a fat guy is a choice. It's not a not a problem. You choose to live this way, so you gotta you know breaking that mindset of let me just go easy is is, is probably the most improved I think I've had is, is 
to push myself. All right, all right. <clears throat> Let me see what we got here. Looking like Eric Cruz, Supermax. Hope all is well with you and your family. My question is, where is your dream place location to fight in? Okay. You know, I I was really excited before COVID. Uh, you know, COVID kind of threw everything off, man. But I was really gonna make a make a fucking clutch to to go to England with the the white collar thing we've been doing been talking about with Mitty, man, I really, I I just thought that would have been an amazing thing to knock off the bucket list, possibly catch a real fight out in England, so that would be something cool, and, uh, and I mean, who knows where Border Wars takes us, man, maybe one day we end up on the Tyson undercard, you know, something like that would be cool. All right, all right, we got Eddie Bola de Grasa, who says, what up, Max? I'm going to list some heavyweights in the division. Tell me what you see as their greatest strength and weakness. Mofongo. Dr. Mofongo from Long Island. Ooh, uh, greatest strength, man, is, is definitely... You know, I think Mofongo's got a, a very, very strong will. You know, he's going to come in there. He's going to be coming forward. Uh, the weakness, I think, would be, man, just the, his, like a lot of us, man, sometimes you just can't get that sparring, and that that was going to bite you in the ass every time. Santiago from Los Angeles, the silent killer. Yo, Santi, man, goddamn, that, that, that guy right there, man, let me tell you. Uh... Yo, Santiago, like the grit, dude. That, that motherfucker. Let me tell you something. That's, I hit that dude, and I seen his neck swing back, and I was like, "This motherfucker is not going nowhere." Uh, don't, I don't care what you say about him. When you look at his record, that dude is the grittiest mofo in Border Wars. He's the biggest dog in Border Wars. Uh, he just wouldn't go away. That's that dude. I remember that dude, I remember hitting that dude, even looking at Newman, like, yo, man, can I get a standing eight? Just come on, man. So, yeah, the grit, Damn. the grit of Santiago, man. That dude right there, that's a real dog. When you talk about a dog, that's a dog. Uh, weakness, uh, just a little bit of technical spiel, man. I mean, uh, he's, he's improved a lot. Uh, I know he works out there with uh, Fern Gully. Shout out to Fern Gully and the guys in Cali. Uh, that would just be it to me, technical ability. All right, all right. Uh, looks like DC Tank, aka the real tank. Str- uh, strength and weakness, strength and weakness. Man, that boy that like got some pop. He stayed composed. It's gonna be composure, man, because he was in that tough with Sony. Stay composed. And uh, and man got the got the shot off. Uh, the weakness, man. I, I it's hard to say, man. I, I really I didn't see too much weakness there, man. He he's pretty got pretty decent skill. His conditioning was kind of there, man. Like I said, he stayed composed and, and got the job done. Hmm. Uh, Sir Bishop from California. Definitely gonna be cardio. That dude, uh, how old is he, 46? 46. Yeah, that dude's got to be definitely in cardio shape. And his biggest weakness, he's 46. Hmm, good call. Uh, Let's see here. Eddie Bola de Grasa. Eddie's biggest strength is going to be the biggest name on my resume. You know, we're going to be the first first pay-per-view. People have been dying for Ariola Ruiz. We're going to give it to you one of these days. Oh, but so, now, look, so man, my boy Ed, Yeah. Hopefully, we got our shit together. That fight will happen at 190, though, man. These motherfuckers these mother heavyweights start to get big on us. <laughs> but, no, Eddie's biggest skill, man, is, is, his, is just his ability, dude. For him to be that, that, that weight, 
and move that well, that's that's a phenomenal thing, man. Uh, Eddie's weakness is going to be the same as Supermax's, man. Discipline. Huh. Discipline. All right. Well, Ness. Ness is definitely going to be the power. You know, uh, if you've never seen Ness fight in person, it's something to see, man. I just don't give a fuck what you say about the opponents. When you can hear the thud off a shot and you can feel it in your chest, that's the power. Uh, so definitely be power. The weakness I'll say about Ness is Ness tends to get lazy. If he don't get you out of there, he's going to take that lead and try to sit on it. I don't know if that's a cardio thing. I don't know what that is, but that's 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 the mess flaw. <laughs> All right, let me see what else. What else? Uh oh, we got the earthquake sliding and says, "Hey, Super Max, good luck on your upcoming match." My question is, do you watch tape on any fighters in preparation for your fight, and if so, who? Uh. So I you guess know, that's I like I guess that's like motivational tape, like oh I watch Oscar to work on my jab or something like that. I'm yeah, assuming. Yeah, I, I was just gonna say that. Yeah, I, I do. Yeah, uh, Ness, you know me. I'm the biggest Oscar De La Hoya fan. I don't care what he does in his personal life. Uh, in my mind, I like to think I throw the left hook like that, but I don't. But I'm trying to work on it. I watch a lot of uh, De La Hoya. I I do honestly watch a lot of Chris Ariola, man. That dude is just something about that dude has always interested me. Has always caught my eye. Um, yeah, the, watching the big boys bang, man. You know, uh, you got to watch those fight with. When you're someone like me, you kind of got to accept the fact that you're probably gonna get hit a couple times, and you gotta you gotta see what a warrior looks like and what that kind of is gonna take because it's coming. It's border wars. You're gonna get punched in the face. It's not. It's not really a way around that when you sign up for this. So. All right, next one is from Chach the Dad. It says, what up, Supermax? When you win this Saturday, who will you call out next? Ah, uh, man, hopefully we get that job done. I appreciate that. Uh, Chach the Dad. You know, I don't like to look past anybody, man, because, you know, this guy's not someone I think you should look past. He's coming to make himself a real player in this division. Uh, I think I'm ranked like seven right now in the division. So I'm at the midway point, man. So I can either shoot up my name up or, or drop my name down. So it's hard to look past. Ideally, ideally, man, I, I, I'll be honest. Uh, unless I'm just super impressive and, and developed all this skill that I don't think I truly have yet, not in one camp, I'd like to really run that back with Santiago, man. I, I, I just feel like. He's, he's felt like he's had reasons why he could have won. I definitely feel like I should have won. Uh, that's just something that's going to stick with me till I get it, till I get to do that again. So, you know, right. but we'll see, man. We got to focus on Saturday first. All right. Uh, we got Brandon in Cincinnati who says, what's your Super Bowl prediction? Oh, yeah. How about them Cowboys with a laughing out loud cowboy hat emoji and ah. – and the shit uh, emoji. First of all, shout out to my Dallas Cowboys. We still the boys all day, every day. Uh, and, and I can't wait to see Trevor Lawrence or Justin Field be our new quarterback. Maybe trade out Zeke, get some new linemen. Uh, my Super Bowl prediction, honestly, though, uh, let me tell you, it's going to be it's gonna be Green Bay versus Buffalo. Everybody's sleeping on the Bills, man. All right, we got uh, Big Kendrick, a.k.a. GG Champ. He says, what up, Big Supermax? Congrats on your life-changing journey. Let the fans and all the heavyweights know your three-fight plan. Ah, so, yeah, uh, man, I'd like to get the job done Saturday for sure. Uh, But regardless of that, I have thought of this. Uh, There's been some communication from Border War 6, we had a little four-man tournament that ended in two draws. Couldn't find us an opponent out of that. Um, so, like I said, I'd like to run that back with Santi. See if Eddie and Mofongo could run that back. And uh, I'd like to take the winner in Vegas. And if 
if all is well, ideally, let's say I can nab off. Let's say that happens, man, and, and in the perfect world, in my perfect scenario, I'm I got three wins straight, and I'm about two thirty, two twenty five. I think I, I think I think that four five plan might just come together. Hmm. I see that little WBC you got back there that I know you've been talking about. It's gonna look real nice at my house. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's what that's the same one I want, man. Jordan Baker in uh, Florida says, Max, welcome back. You the man, and I feel you could be a top guy in Border Wars. You actually start eating right and training hard. What's it going to take for you to get to that point? Much love, bro. Consistency. Consistency. Um, Like I said, you guys in the community, all the Border Wars brothers, uh, it's a, it's a, you know, I got friends, man, and I love all my friends dearly, but you guys are a different type of friends because uh, you guys are not going to take no bullshit. You know, that shot is brutal. Uh, and and everybody who stepped up and did the push-ups, Ness is probably the most honest and brutal person you can ever know. But if he didn't like you, he probably wouldn't say two words to you, uh, you know. So that's that, it's just consistency, man. Staying on top of things. All right. We got uh, Big Izzy in Oklahoma says, hey, champ, ready to see you Saturday. I've asked a few guys, so I'll ask the same question to you. One to ten, what's your cardio at right now? First off, Izzy, damn, I'm in Oklahoma all the time. I can't get no lunch on me. (laughs) Uh, No, I'm just messing you up. Honestly, honestly, I'd probably say about a seven or eight, if I'm just going to be blunt. Whoa, eight. you got to an eight already? Wow. Uh, not, not, I feel like I should be at a ten as much as I've been in camp, but just it's hard carrying this weight, man. It's I got to get this shit off of me. Yeah, man. Are you walking every day, though? Yeah, uh, I don't know if, uh, if anybody uses map. My, I know next we got the Apple Watch thing, but I also yeah. go to map my run. I do a solid two miles. I've actually started mixing up with. Uh, oh, you can request me on there. Do what? You can request me on Matt My Run. Uh, I think I did. I'm not sure, but I'll check. Uh, but y'all do two miles. Uh, I figured out actually that from where my house is, I can do two miles doing three laps from my front door. If I do three laps around that, that big block I have, that's two miles. Mm. So mentally, that makes it easier because even though it's still two miles, it's just three laps. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of a lot. A lot of this weight loss shit is mental, man. Let me tell everybody out there. It ain't nothing physical. It's mental. You don't got to drink that soda. You don't got to, you know, don't crash diet either. Don't, you know, don't don't fuck your system up. That's one thing I also learned. Work your way into this thing. Uh, for all of you out there, man, it's, it's all in your mind. It's all right here. Put that soda down. Uh, if you need some caffeine, drink a black coffee. The caffeine headaches will go away. Uh, water, a lot of water. Clean that system out, man. Uh, shout out to Dr. Mafungo. The intermittent fasting thing has actually, I think, helped me a lot. Uh, right now, I'm doing like a shake, one of those little shakes, you know, for lunch. Uh, nothing but water, just some fruits for a snack. Then I'll eat supper. And then at seven, I'm done. By seven, I'm done eating for the day, and it's just nothing but water, 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 water. Mm. All right, all right. What else we got here? Looking like Iron Sal in Los Angeles, California, right? Not LA, California. Big Max, where do you feel you'll improve the most this camp? Where is your ultimate weight goal? Hashtag headband gang. Headband gang. Oh. My, my fundamentals have improved, I think. Just basic fundamentals. Uh, not just trying to go in there and street fight. Um, and as far as my ideal weight, man, uh, it's small goals. Small goals, you know. We're probably going to come into this fight hopefully 30 pounds lighter than when we started this camp. Maybe 25. Then the next one, the, ne- the next fight, I want to be under 300 or at least right at the 300 mark. Then the next fight, we're going to shoot because that'll probably be September if things are working out the way I think. 265 by September. And then 
maybe the 240, 230 range by next December. But uh, one step at a time. All right. Uh, Sir Bishop out of California. Shout out to my main man, Supermax. I am happy to see you get back in the ring. Question, do you have any favorite pro boxer that have inspired you to become a boxer in Border Wars? I always wanted to box when I was younger because we constantly watched Oscar De La Hoya. Uh, you know, and that's, I, I think you've heard me say that. So, so check this out, man. My parents, but especially my mom, was a huge Oscar De La Hoya fan. We used to have these big fight parties. Uh, even after my parents separated, my mom would still order the fights. Check this out. This is how big of a fan she was, man. We didn't have cable. She went and turned on the cable for one month. Bought the box just to. It wasn't even a, a pay per view. It was just to get the HBO so we could watch Oscar fight Stevie Forbes one time. Like she was a super fan, so that was just who I always grew up watching. Obviously, from there, you know, I got into watching Vargas, Prince Nassim Hamed, uh, Mosley, Trinidad, Kelly Pavlik, those kind of guys. And the boxing just been something we always enjoyed, man. But it, it it's always gonna come back to Oscar for me, man. That's. That's why I'm hoping he really does come back, man. I'd, I'd like to take my mom to go see Oscar one time in person. You got Info Joe in California says, What up, Supermax? Can't wait to meet you. I'll be in Texas. Just wanted to let you know, I can't be... No, I can't bet... No, no, no. Just want to let you know, I can bet you are inspiring a lot of people to get in shape. That probably never call in. Keep up the great work. Keep inspiring the TBV community. Okay. My bad. He said, I can bet you're inspiring a lot of people. Uh, you know, I'd like to think so. You know, I like to, you know, you know me. I got to have the flash and the flare, being the Ric Flair of Border Wars, you know. But, uh, and, and say that a lot of these guys, and a lot of these guys probably do think they can come in and beat me. That's fine if you think so. Uh, but, you know, you got to get in there. But it's true, man. Uh, there's a guy that his name has always stuck out to me because when he called, his attributes were so similar to mine. I think his name is like Jerron or Jaron. Yeah, yeah, Jerron. From, from from Louisiana. That guy, man, if you're listening, brother, I, I want you to sign up, man. Get in there. I'll get in there with you. You can always get in with Santi. There's going to be someone for you to get in with. Pull that trigger, boss. Pull that trigger. Don't Don't hesitate. Anybody else who's out there, if you think, man, I'm 300 pounds, I'm too short, too fat, forget all that, man. You, 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 the worst thing in the world you can do is not try. Just give it a shot. You're gonna love what you you're gonna love what you find here, man. Yeah, man. Uh, we got the next one coming from Keem the Dream in Florida, who says when. Can me and you line it up one time? I already smacked your golden child Mario around. Let me get the promoter now. Whoa! Woo! Let me tell you something, Kings. When I when I come down and crash into the cruiserweight division, you can be the first victim. <laughs> King y'all crazy. think y'all think Superman can go and got stamina at three something, three hundred something pounds? Shit! Don't. The world ain't ready for Supermax to be at 190. That's why we we also, after this fight, we're, we're going to take the label of big off Supermax. We're going to take that big out of my mindset. It's mm. just Supermax from here on out because we don't want to be big no more. Yeah. But, yeah, Kim, Kim, you can get the smoke first, baby. Then, then after that, you're going to beg for the Mario rematch because you're going to need a bounce back. Ooh-wee. Sam in the U.K. says, what up, Supermax? Since you had a few fights, are you getting used to getting punched in the face or does it feel the same when you first started uh look personally man uh the history i have i was in man I, i'd have been in a bunch of street fights been jumped before uh but that shit is not the same as lining up in border wars with someone who's in shape who's been ready or even just sparring uh like i said man Fucking Marvin, bro. That that dude punched the shit out of me, and and that was an eye opener. So, no, I don't think you ever really get too used to it. You just kind of accept what it is. But that was first pushing. camp, though, right? Yeah, hmm. that was. Let me tell you something. Marvin hit me so hard, man. I thought twice about even fighting. 
<laughs> Marvin ain't shit. He's supposed to work with you, man. Uh, the, the thing was, man, it, it, it's fine, dog. It's one of them motherfuckers got loose. It is what it is. No, nah, it ain't what it is, Super Max. Yo. He trying to get you, brother. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, because if, if, hey. if you look at me... If you look at me when I sparred Marvin, you know when when yeah. when I when you I try to kill him too. When I accidentally unleash the the power on him, I stop the the spawn. Like yo, you I right, B, you I right? you need your, you need my shoulder to cry on. So oh. so like I wasn't I wasn't trying to kill him. Like another dude would have checked him with the hook and seen that 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 pause right there, and then just. Boom! Send the right hand at him. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the combo. Check hook, right hand down the pipe. That's why Bruno used to say, "Check hook, right hand, good night." When he was popping, but yeah, no. Nah, so you supposed to work. You supposed Marvin, to work, Marvin, man. You can't. You Marvin's can't kill boy, each other. He, he did that to me. I'd have kicked him in his ball. <laughs> yeah, man. That's good. That's good. Is nah, that man, after you woke listen, up? Listen, listen. I don't. I don't oh. spar. I don't spar with Matt. I don't spar with Enrique. Uh, Elias, Rob the Genius. You know you you got to turn it down, man. Cause at this level, it's more about Marvin pushing you, giving you that mental no. pressure, no. get that and, heart and rate up, it, get that heart it, rate it, it, up. It wasn't it wasn't like Marvin sat there and was like trying to knock me out. Man. It just that shot was just that solid, man. It was like whoa, that dude's that dude's strong for real, man. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not saying he killed you because, it's like I said, I, I hit him with a shot by accident. You know what I mean? So shit happens, but it's, it's more about working, man, building that heart rate, man. Yeah, uh, but let me get to these other questions here. We got Jimmy D. He says, what can, you, what can you attribute your lack of sufficient weight drop for this event? From the outside, it's easy to believe that you have no commitment or discipline. Why should anyone even supporters of you still follow or cheer for you uh well first of all shout out to jose for that beautiful question why, and, uh, why you know, does everybody right. say jimmy d is jose man because <laughs> jose, jose that made his own burner accounts man yo. he's a real star yo <laughs> yo how you gonna I, make your own yo, but, 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 but what makes you think that that's jose out of all people <laughs> Because I've no, I've cause just because of the other questions I've seen and because I've spoke to Jose. Uh, <laughs> hey, but you know what? Shout out to him, man. All the real stars got burner accounts. So yeah, it's yeah, whatever. Yeah. Uh, look, man. The truth is, I did slack, dude. I I came down thirty pounds last camp. Everybody was so proud, and I even told Ness with the cat. I I guessed in my head how much I was weighing. Hey, fuck did i regret doing that because once i told Ness the weight and i jumped on the scale that was a that was a big uh man what the fuck have we been doing you know what i mean um all i can say is man at this point a lot of the talking can't be done man it's just got to be proven i just got to show like i said with you guys accountability show you you know you guys got to check i got to check in with y'all you know what i mean it's up to me to stay consistent man yeah maybe if i get that maybe if i finally get that little chicken it's over about consistency because now, now, now it's Saturday, man. You got it. You got it. You know, the work yeah. is done. You got to put it in now. Well, that's for this fight, but I'm talking about the, as far as weight loss goes, it's got to be consistent from now on. Even I, I can't, I can't fight Saturday and let's say I win Saturday. I can't just take another month off. Yeah, I won. It's cool. I can chill. No, if I want to lose this weight and get where I want to be, I got to get right back in there. I got to get back to working. Yeah, no, camp can't stop, man. Camp can't stop. You have to definitely win. That was the biggest win, lose, mistake of the last time. Win, lose. You got to keep that schedule with you. Whoever's been doing it with you, just keep it. Just keep it. Don't worry, man. Look at your brother. Win or lose, he's lost weight. Now he's picking and choosing where he wants to fight at. And, and, and you know that's there shouldn't you know there's there's no more motivation than that you know that's your flesh and blood you know he did it there's no no gimmicks there uh Francis the the praying mantis you got anything before we wrap it up we got the all the questions hold on hold on wait real quick that's I got something for Francis I don't know if you heard the beginning of the show no we didn't what's up okay what up? so uh, you know stainless dropped his new release it's gonna be my ring walk song shout out to the man stainless. And then my song, man, it talks about putting the hurt on somebody, bringing the water. He wanted me to make sure that you understood when he wrote those bars, mm. he had you in mind, champ, Damn. and you alone. 
So, man, stainless already That's, working. You know, I yo, made, I made yo, a, I but made Francis, a my Francis guy. smartened up. I told him, like, yo, you tripping. You, if you ain't noticed, stainless been working. And then all of a sudden, Francis found a gym and went had a session. You see? No, it's not even that it's smart enough, bro. Timing is everything. You smart enough. You smart enough. You smart enough. You don't want to put that Nah, I didn't smart enough. Stop putting words in my yeah. mouth, bro. Earthquake. Listen, Supermax, let me tell you some people you I did. I had to, I had to, listen, I over here got a ton of shutdowns. I don't know about y'all going on in the U.S., but over here, they ain't fucking around. You whatever. know what I'm saying? They ain't fucking whatever. around at all. Whatever. Just, matter of fact, just something. yesterday, just yesterday, a gathering, $50,000 worth of tickets were handed out. Like, they not fucking around over here. You know what I'm right. saying? So to give you like the idea, like I'm glad my trainer called me. I was like, "What? I'm out. I'm gone." Because their gym is shut down. Yeah, what's up? Let me say, first of all, I'm from Texas, bro. Uh, evidently, we don't believe in none of that shit here in Texas. We wild as shit down here. But uh, I, I gotta say this about Francis. Did you ever hear any of my first calls when I first signed up for Border Wars? No. Um, no. I have okay, to go back well, and let listen. Let me tell you, if Ness, Ness probably remembers, bro, I came in this motherfucker talking just as much shit as you. If not more, yeah. I told Ness I'd give a damn if I was 5'10", 345, I was gonna slam dunk on his ass. I told Mike I'd get him out, I'd get in a wheelchair and box him. I, so that being said, man, I, I love it. I love the energy, bro, because I love a talker. I'm, I'm a talker myself, man. Truly, but you got. Let me tell you something. With this community, you gotta back that shit up. Uh, I you gotta back that up in life. Period, Supermax. Forget the community. Right. Life, no, you, you gotta back you, up when you talk, yo. Absolutely. <laughs> But this community over here, they're going to hold you to every last word. I told everybody last year I was going to be the performance of the night. I was going to put on the best fight. And uh, you know what? I guess they believe. I guess I kept my word because they, they awarded me with that little fight of the night award. I'm going to try to go for another one this year. I, I'd rather, much rather get a win, though, before anything else. But, yeah, uh, I'm just, I'm just saying, Francis, I love your energy, man. Just make sure you back it up because... Yes, man, sir. Fran- Francis He's don't know, man. Francis don't know. He ain't never been hit yet, man. He's still just yapping and napping. But listen, um, I want to say the earthquake. We answered your question because you had posted it in the real post. Everybody's posting it on the live show, but I got you. So it's already been answered earlier. And Francis, yeah, it's they basically on you or, or, or it's time to go. We've been here for an hour waiting on you, man. Where you been at, man? Yeah, I had to go to chiropractor to take care of my body. So, oh, yo, Supermax, session, so let me tell you something. So, um, one just to make session, sure that. You needed a chiropractor? Pardon me? One workout session and you needed a chiropractor the next day? No, no, I've been going to chiropractor, man. Damn. You got to get your spine right. Come on, man. Damn. Smarten up. <laughs> <laughs> you got to smarten up, man. <laughs> um, no, but for real, though, Supermax, um, when you're running, right, or doing your cardio, what type of music do get you pumped up, get mm. you um, ready for your workouts? What do you got in there? So, uh, you know what, I listen to a little bit of everything. Uh, you know, I like some Kevin Gates. I like some, some old school SPM. I like some cumbias, mm. you know, some dancing music. Uh, but to be honest, uh, uh, or a podcast, but to be honest, when I'm getting dead-ass tired and I, and I don't want to think about how tired I am, I listen to Unsolved Mysteries. I put it on on YouTube, the old Unsolved Mysteries show. Uh, that shit's real, gets me real into it, that I stop thinking about how I'm tired and I just keep keep flowing just keep flowing i love it i love it anything different that you worked on in this camp that you didn't do in the last camp fundamentals and consistency man fundamentals in terms of footwork hand placement like what exactly you talk without giving away the game plan obviously oh yeah no better better balance better footwork uh better shot selection you know just little things like that man i got the best coach in border wars let me tell you that right now he gonna win trainer of the year did you work on moving your head at all? Absolutely, though. With this big boy, okay. the head cannot stay on that center line. Or this this fight ain't gonna last too long. So I'm glad you I'm glad you said that with this big boy. Is there anything about smoke him out, Jay, that gives you any type of concern going into this fight? Uh, I mean, there's always the concern about the power, the size, the strength. But I mean, it's what we signed up for. So not really. Whatever's gonna happen is gonna happen, man. You just gotta accept it for what it is. As long as I put in the work, for me, as long as I know I put in this work and tried my best, uh, I'm okay with that after the last fight. Like I told Ness earlier, I robbed myself more than anybody in the last fight, and I refuse to let that be the reason I don't get the win. If someone's just better than me, it is what it is, but it's not going to be because I half-assed it ever again. Okay, okay. Um, 
I actually have one more I wanted to ask you. Um, seeing that your brother has taken on this new journey, and you know, it's, it would seem that he's taken it serious, right? Um, what has that done for you? What type of motivation has that been for you? You know, it's uh, it's it's been a, it's been a weird feeling, man. Uh, to be honest with you guys, it's been a bit of a role reversal. You know, growing up, Matt Matt played sports for a little bit, but didn't ever really play. He's, it wasn't his thing, and, and which is funny because honestly. Matt was probably a much better athlete than me. He just wow. wasn't. It wasn't something he was interested in. Uh, so from the, it's a flip. Back then it was me that was the superstar athlete, getting all the praise. Uh, you know, everybody knew my name. Everybody, you know. And now it's like we're doing this, and Matt's that guy. And, and it mo- I want to shine with my brother. Uh, you know, and and I can't. Uh, shit, I got an ego at the same time, baby. I'm still the biggest star in the family. I can't let him get past me. You know what I'm saying? I'm the big brother. Okay. All right. Go ahead, Ness. No, well, that's it, man. You know what time it is. Social media time. And uh, we'll be back with another one at 5 o'clock with For Sure Fire D. So check it out, folks. If you haven't already, go follow me at big underscore supermax 56. Or big, yeah, big underscore supermax 56 on IG. I do post some updates there. Uh, I got a Facebook. You can find it from there. Check me out. If you haven't already, get your memberships up. And if you want to, ca- are we live streaming Saturday? Is that is that the plan? Uh, well, I, I, I'm waiting on Cruz, who's finding out for us. Okay. Well, whether we live stream or not, man, you're going to want to see what happens in person. You're going to want to see the Ric Flair of TBV of Border Wars show up and do his thing, co-main slide. We got a hell of a main event. Get your Patreon in. You don't want to miss this event. Big fights, big nights. Me and my brother, the first set of brothers to compete on the Border Wars card. We're going to take another step in that direction, try to be the first brothers to get wins on the same card. And after that, it's only one more thing to do, and that's grab some straps. But uh, appreciate your time. Like, subscribe, man. You don't want to miss this Border Wars. I promise you that. I love it, man. I love it, Superman. Keep your head up. Um, you know what I mean? Finish out the week strong. And um, look forward to seeing you in the ring performing, man. Yes, sir. All right, champs, catch us on the next one. Peace. Y'all be good.